artists, today is Sensory Art Day, and we'll be creating our own slime. Um, so in the past, I haven't really been allowing slime in my classroom, but since we're at home, this is a great activity to do at home. Um, you do have to get a few special supplies if you want to do it, but it's pretty simple and I found two great recipes. Um, the first one is for cloud slime, which is really puffy and light and really cool and fun to play with. And the second one is for crystal clear slime, which is also pretty cool. I added in this one some pom-poms, which ended up making a really cool texture and also fun to play with. So this is a great sensory activity for all ages, as long as you have supervision, because it's pretty messy. Um, but you can add scents to it, you can add smells, you can add textures or glitter or all sorts of things into the slime. So it's a great activity for all ages. Um, I hope you enjoy. I know there's a lot of videos online of how to create slime, but really I just wanted to try it myself. So I hope you enjoy. And then I'm just gonna start spraying in the contact solution, stirring, and that's considered the active. Okay, Suter Artists, I hope you had fun making slime if you tried it. And I know a lot of you are experts on slime, um, so if you have advice for me or ideas, uh, share them. I would love to hear them. So I've got a lot of glue at home, so I'd love to try another kind of slime. Um, I hope you're all healthy, safe, and I hope you have a great Monday.